welcome to the mix, lovelies and friends. And on the mix, we have Tina. And Tina came out and she's speaking of Tana and what she allegedly said that she would have done. And basically, she's getting questions and even comments from her followers. And she's reading those comments as well, answering to them as well. So you guys going to have to go and catch the video, hear what she has to say. And remember to like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. Yes, subscribe. And hit that notification bell so when I post, you know about it. For all my lovelies and friends celebrating their wonderful birthdays today, happy, happy birthday. And I wish you joy, love, peace, happiness, and prosperity throughout this year. year. For all my followers, my friends, my subscribers, my family, whatever you may call me. And for those who just join, thank you so much for coming on board and have yourselves a beautiful, beautiful day today. Business, because that shows that you are not interested to learn about people who have been through certain things. You're not a forgiven soul. So why are you doing Christianity? Why are you reading the Bible? Why are you reading the Bible if you're not about forgiveness? Why are you praising God if you are judging people? But yet still, you don't want to be judged. You don't like it when your children are judged. Make it make sense. You don't want your kids judged, right? But you want to come out and put judgment on people's kids, right? She the, she mentioned claiming, she she lied claiming that, oh, I, I said her kids are 500 pounds. I never said that. However, that was another lie that she wanted to put on me. But you, But even if I did say that, right? I would be within my right if I did say something like that, but I never did. But for argument's sake, let's say if I did say that, think about how many times this woman has came out on her platform and spoken negatively or made negative references to people's children. She did it just a week ago. Oh, judgment, I got five pounds on a picnic. And I mean, it's something that she does on a common basis. So if you do these things, how do you not expect people to come back out and, 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 and point the finger at your children? It's, there's no one-sided thing here. People have feelings. We're human beings. We have kids. We love our kids. We love our kids equally, maybe more than you do. And it's our right as parents and grandparents to protect our children. And she not only spoke negatively about people's kids, she also spoke negatively or made negative references to people's grandkids. That is not right. Grandkids and people's kids. But yet still you want to feel a certain type of way when, if and when people make reference to your kids. No, you have to be an example. You don't do it and people won't do it in return to you. That's basically what I'm saying. Let me read your comments. Tina, make sure you watch if she report you to, to BBB because if she never purchased anything from you, it's against the law to report. Thank you for that. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> All right. She's exposing herself. Lovelet says this is major because and should not and should have been exploited. Correct. Um, let me, it's morally bankrupt to have an event, attach a cause to it and don't give it to that cause. Correct, Jella, right? Because you do know, even though we here in America have our issues, right? Every country has their issues. However, we as a first world country, whenever you attach something for a cause, and you, you, you say, oh, it's for this and you make reference to the cause and you use it to promote an event of yours. People are looking forward to you donating to that cause, a dollar, two dollar. But we're, we're looking to that should not go in your pocket. That should not. Once your expenses are paid, whatever extras are on there, it goes directly to the cause. It could be a thousand dollars. It goes directly to the cause. That's how they do things here in America. In America, there is, it isn't like Jamaica where you can funnel thousands of dollars into the country. You can launder thousands of dollars into the country, sit and count it publicly on social media, untaxed, right? It's not regulated. You didn't pay any taxes on it, right? And you just sit there and count thousands of dollars, 
Nobody see where this money is going. We don't see the bank account. We just see a handwritten receipt. No, that is not how this country is ran. Okay. So if we see that you're collecting money and you're associating a cause with it, the, the, the moral thing to do is to give some of that money to the cause. One thing I want to point out too, I see where she had a moment of silence for Opal. You know why she had a moment of silence for Opal? Because she remembers now to have an, a moment of silence for Opal because I spoke about it on that live back in July. You remember where I, I said, oh my God, your friend passed away. This friend who helped you to make thousands of dollars passed away and you didn't even have an easel on the stage to remember your friend by. That was so bad. That was so horrible. And right after your friend's funeral, you went shopping. That was so distasteful. So there are a lot of things that I pointed out back in July that she made changes to in this event where she had a moment of silence for the dear Opal who passed away. Okay. Because she didn't care about Opal. She didn't care about Opal, unfortunately. May her soul rest in peace. She didn't care about that young lady. As a matter of fact, Opal is buried roughly five minutes away from where I lived. Why? Yes, she, 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 like, like she's buried five minutes away. I don't go that direction every day, but she's buried five minutes away from where I live. Mm -hmm. Five minutes away, right? Very great, very good cemetery. The place is really nice, well kept. Five minutes away from where I live, Opal is buried. You know what I mean? It's just really sad. It's not ideas. It's not ideas, Sonia. It's me noticing that she did. She did that in the new, in the new, in her, in her pink foolishness where she scammed the people money and didn't donate to the cancer people. You know what I mean? And because I called her out on it, I called her out on it and I wrote a letter about it. Looked like somebody got into her ears and told her what I did. And she ran and made that video. And, and instead of her holding herself accountable, this is what I don't understand. And this is why this individual will always remain as toxic as she is, because when it comes on to accountability, she doesn't take that. She doesn't she doesn't take accountability. She 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 multiplies the problem. She makes the problem worse. She makes herself look worse instead of correcting her wrongs. You see how they're talking about she apologized to me. No, you didn't apologize to me. You lied on me so many times, and then when you want, oh, uh, no, mm -mm, mm -mm. the damage was major. The damage what was major, okay? Similarly to how you can write a, 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 a long epistle to a couple of your bloggers when you feel like you did them wrong, that's the same thing you should do to people that you've done wrong to, like people who are no longer associating with you. It's the same energy you should give. Because you cannot gaslight your followers. It's not right for you to gaslight your followers and have your followers threaten, attack, whatever, the people that you're, 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 you're putting out there. And then the only thing you say is one word and think that will fix the situation. No, that's not how you apologize. That You need to apologize with the same chest that you use to, to, to humiliate and drag and tear down people. Yeah. Yeah, you need to learn what it is to apologize. You know, you're a grown person. You're not a child. You need to hold yourself accountable for things and, and apologize with your chest the same way. And all the nasty people out there who are co-signing and talk about, oh, she didn't have a, no, she didn't. She didn't. She didn't. Because by then, by the time she got to that part, the damage was already done. And if you were really sorry, you wouldn't have continued with your bullshit if you were really sorry. Right? Somebody who's really sorry would stop what they're doing. You don't continue and make matters worse and further gaslight your followers against the person. No, you would stop what you're doing. You would stop. Right. Similarly to how 
The other day, she went on her YouTube and told and made a big live telling church sister I, and humiliating church sister. But I'm good for church sister now. When I, forget, when I, when I feel sorry for church sister, because church sister put herself in that situation, right? Remember, right? You see, just like how she go up on her live and, 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 um, do a what a 30 minutes or whatever and i tell church sister and i humiliate church sister everybody i laugh and i drag church sister and i comment yeah it would be good to do a live like that when you're apologizing to people that you lied on and you did wrong to don't just do those lives that make you look good in that form where you, in that fashion where you're humiliating other people while you're not taking their apology no, that's not how, yeah, you understand me? Do, do, sit and do a lie. Look within yourself and say, you know what? And you know what too? If she had held herself accountable and done things the correct adult way, a lot of what's going on right now on social media would not be. But because she is very disrespectful, and on top of that, she has some very disrespectful people out there who are, advocating on her behalf this is why we're here and this is why people are getting threatened people like me are being trolled my car is being vandalized they're sending the cops to my house this and this and that this is why because she 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 incites violence right and she has said it she said she will turn her followers on people so how are you going to say these very bold things that you're going to turn your followers against people? You're going to let your followers loose on people. And then you want to come out yesterday and cry. Oh, I'm living in fear of my life. Oh, uh, Tina Chin has a G-U-N and Tina Chin has threatened. Oh, but you said you're going to set your followers on people. That's what you said. You said it. So how now you're, you're, uh, 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 help me, help me. I can't sleep at night. How many times have you come out and said you slept really well and you don't have nothing stressing you because the people money fat in your pocket? You have, you, you have said, you have said you're so rich and your bank account heavy. Your bank account heavy and you don't have nothing hot in you. And you cock up your foot and you eat a big Sunday dinner and all of that. I mean, an hour before she did that live yesterday, an hour before she did that live, she was, she, she, she was, uh, Mantum. She was playing music. Mantum, man, it was so unjust. Dirty bongo, some gala, dirty bongo. One hour before she did that live where she was so fearful of her life, she was throwing words and throwing shade, calling people dirty bongo and, and dirty gal and, oh, um, who the cap fit? Should I wear it? I'm a true me can, me not can not fall. Red, dirty gal, when I talk to dirty bongo. I mean, so what happened within that one hour after you did that live, lady? I, I mean, you were, you were, I mean, the only thing left for you to do was to get up and, and, and bend over and shake up your body, your body you don't have, oh? That's the only thing that was left for you to do in that live an hour before, is to shake up your body and go on with yourself. I mean, you were very happy. You were you were partying, you were having a blast. Nearly 30 minutes before you made that video. Somebody who fears for their lives, don't do that. Somebody who, who is living in fear of Tina Chin wouldn't do something like that. Wouldn't be there. Dutty Bongo. Come up, come up, come up, come up, come up, Which one will play next? <laughs> Shit. I have feared for my life before. And you know what I do? I, I dip out off. I gone. Nobody don't see me. Because I'm living in fear. Shit. Okay. <laughs> Big up yourself, Amira. Yes, my dear. I'm going to read the comments then. I'm going to stop and read the comments then. Jella said, people like that throw stones and then hide their hands, right? Then walk away and leave others to deal with the dirty work. 
they can always play innocent when people act out on their yes yes that's what she does she throws her stones or in in other words she shit all left it and then when she shit all left it now everybody else got to deal with the flies that's 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 around the shit that's that's her all the time and don't forget it's coming around cake season this is not the first time that she has come out and told some vicious lies on me because it's cake seasons around the corner let me tell you she did this back in 2022 yes she did it back in 2022 where she came out and said some wicked things make us see if we can't find a live in a 2022 right before the season start and i had to come out and say guys not no gossip da, 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 da. i had admitted i have one short ear style at the time um, i think a 2021 should be to a 2022 i'm gonna have a short ear style and but it have the gucci thing around my head i'm gonna say not no i mean it was a i can't remember what the lie was but i remember i i vaguely remember it but i'm gonna find it i'm gonna find it you understand me i shall play a boju Oh, I'm gonna say John. I'm gonna see what John said. But people can her names too. So if this would also support her, I mean, I understand what you mean by that. I mean, I know what you are talking about, sir. I don't know. I'm kind of lost. Every cake season should come out and tell some vicious lies on me. Right? Every cake season she does this because she is, remember now, her products are no good. And she wants the sales so badly. So she has to come out and demonize me now to her followers. So our followers them now get hype up on by our nasty cake. That's basically what it is though. Our followers them, she want people, she want hype up our followers them for come out and buy our nasty cake. So she uses me as the floor mat, right? To, to kind of hype up our followers like, yeah, buy cake from me, buy cake. Yeah, because yeah, that's how she is. So I'm letting you know her games she likes to play yeah because yeah, yeah you know we're we're going towards november now <laughs> i used to the big panty one over this and i'm up for himself to the big panty one the store the boulder the boulder the one who had the store for 30 years and still in the same place yeah him him and i'm up for himself to the big panty wearing one ah uh, yeah he, he he he's he's worse yeah I'm not worried about that nonsense yeah so it's it's what they do. They all come together and tell lies and put it out there on social media because they don't want people to buy my products. And and it's just sad that they have to stoop to that level. And if you have to stoop to that level of just making up malicious stories, it shows that your products aren't good. It shows that you have no skills. It shows that you nothing quality is there about you because you have to stoop to those very low levels to make me look ugly to the public. That's sad. That's really sad. And um, yeah, it's, it's, it's really sad that you guys have to do that. Um, but I hope the public is out there watching and they're seeing your strategies that you all are using, trying to sell yourselves. And, and I hope they will not buy from you. Yes, I hope they will not buy from you because it's very distasteful that you would tarnish somebody's image like that, knowing that you cannot prove it. It says a lot about your integrity that you don't have. It says a lot that you don't have integrity because if you're going to stoop to that level and just make up a story so vicious about your competitor, I would not want to eat from you. Okay? I would not want to eat from you if you're going to stoop to those nasty levels to put your competitor's life in danger. Just think about it, guys. Think about the level of low that this woman got to so that people won't buy my products or people won't look at me as somebody reputable just think about it she is setting up my life you know just think about it guys think think about think about her character i ask you i humbly ask you to my free thinkers out there on social media think about the character of this woman and her friends right think about the they exactly leone yes Think about their character. It's not like they're talking about the cakes, you know, where you know, it's not like they're talking about the cakes or not like that, where people, where competitors, like if you're competing with another business owner and let's say you, you buy chicken and another.